Let's suppose there are three people in my address book that I want to have on a list to invite to a Christmas party this year. I begin by searching by first name and I'm going to search Albert. He's one of my good friends and he's a contact so I'll just do that and I'll go ahead and click OK. I'm going to replace that list just with him. The next person I'm going to search for is going to be Penny. And again, I will do this search, but this time I'm going to add the search results to that list and click OK. And there's Penny. And the final person I want to search for by first name is Rudy. Again, I'll click OK. And now Rudy is in that list as well. Now I'm going to put my three friends into a favorite list. I'll do that by clicking View, Favorite Lists, Add, and giving this list a name. I'll call this my Christmas party list and I'll select the public address book view as my associated column setup. I'll click OK and Maximizer indicates for me right away that there are three people in that list. It is important to remember that the favorite list is what we call a static list. That is, it does not increase or decrease in size unless you manually add or remove someone. In other words, you could add 500 people to your database tomorrow, but your favorite list, my favorite Christmas party list, would not increase by even one person unless I specifically added them to the list. If I like, I can also add this list, my Christmas party list, to the icon bar for quick access. I'll pick that icon and click Save, and now it has become a part of my quick access list in case I ever want to get at this list quickly. There are other places where having a favorite list can be advantageous. For example, if I start my workday by going to my hot list and then I move over to my address book, I can tell Maximizer to open up a favorite list for me when I first begin to work. I can also use a favorite list for subscribers to campaigns. And I can use a favorite list to track a specific number of customers that my manager has asked me to follow up on. Most importantly, when I'm on the road, and accessing Maximizer by my smartphone, rather than searching the database for the people I want one by one, I could actually have this favorite list and have my smartphone retrieve that favorite list. Now let's suppose as time goes on, I decide that I really don't want Albert to come to that party. Right click on Albert and I can remove him from a favorite list. I find the list that's important to me, the current entry is selected, I click OK, and Albert is no longer on that list. Well, let's suppose later on I change my mind about Penny as well. In this case, I can highlight Penny, I can come down to Details, I can slide over to the far right here, click on the plus sign next to Favorite List, I can view my Favorite List, or I can remove her from a Favorite List. Again, I'll do the Remove there, and click OK, and she's gone from that list as well. And then sometime later, I realize it's getting close to Christmas and I should see how many people I need to plan for for the Christmas list. So I go to View, Favorite List, highlight the one that I'm thinking of. Oh, and I notice there's only one person on there. Hmm, maybe it's time for me to find a few more friends. Bye for now.